In this video clip, we accompany Susanna's online application for a DKB account, and at the same time, we learn about important points for our own account opening. It's best if you use the link that leads directly from our website to the website of the bank and click Jetzt online eröffnen, open now online. The application form opens and you begin with entering your personal data, starting with your first name. If you fill out online forms every now and then, it's possible, like here, that the auto fill in function kicks in. Nevertheless, make sure you enter your information correctly and also check the information from the auto fill in as well. This is about your residence and taxation. If you live in Germany and pay your taxes here, it's ja, yes. If you live outside of Germany as a German expat, for example, it's nein, no. The next is email address, phone number and your address so the bank knows where you live and where to send your credit card and your welcome mail. It's also important to state since when you've been living at that address because this factors in your credit assessment. The same goes for the information if you live there as a tenant or owner. Your occupation, you have a long selection list, choose the one that fits your current occupation best. Your current net income. This is very important information, especially regarding your credit assessment. Please add the amounts from all your sources of monthly income, the earnings from your regular job and, in case you have a side job, these earnings as well. If you are self-employed, the numbers depend on your monthly invoices that you issue and the amount of tax you pay. We recommend entering the amount you pay yourself from your earnings as a monthly salary, so to speak. You also state since when you've been either employed or self-employed. If your current occupation is a fairly recent one, then it's possible that a second column opens for you so you can put in the information of your occupation before your current one as well. Again, select what fits the closest, since this is only of statistic value and does not affect your credit assessment. Now, we can see that there is a red frame around one of the fields, so we need to check it again, since it is possible that an error has occurred there. We click on the field and notice now that we need to correct that date we have entered and put in the month in numbers, a point, and then the year. Depending on what we have selected as our occupation, there might be another subdivision here, but again, this is mainly for statistical purposes. Here you have the option of a joint account. If you are applying for a single account, just leave this preset part as it is. Then click Weiter, proceed. If nothing happens, scroll back upwards to check the entries. Especially when you enter your address, there can be entry errors regarding the required spelling of the street as in Straße and the spelling with a double S or the German S set. Then click Vital, Proceed, and we proceed to page 2. Here you have to agree with a credit assessment by the Schufa or another comparable service. Without your agreeing to this, you cannot proceed here. You also have to confirm that you have taken note of the list of prices and services, which you can download here. And very important, you can only use this account for private purposes, not for your business. Therefore, you have to check this box as well. The next part is information regarding the deposit guarantee. If you click here, you get the statutory information sheet, which you can read or not. For the account opening right now, it's not that important. Your money with DKB is secure. You can check a box to participate in the DKB club. It's voluntary, can get a few bonus points, and we might talk more about that in one of our next clips. With checking the box here, you can agree with receiving marketing-related mail. If you don't check the box, like in this case, you won't get that kind of mail. It's not really that necessary anyway. What is important is you agreeing with the bank contacting you in other cases. For example, if there is an issue with your account. As we click Vita to continue, there's the summary of our application. It is important to check again if all given information is correct. In this particular case, we have noticed a mistake regarding the city of birth, but that is not a problem with the button ändern. 
as a change. Further below we can go back, make the correction, click Weiter again and the change is accepted by the site. Then we can check again if the rest is correct. Once we are ready to open the account, we click Eröffnen as in Open. Meanwhile, we do not need our signature for that anymore, which comes in handy, especially if we apply from outside Germany or simply for promptness purposes. Here you have to check the box again, click Eröffnen, and then the data is submitted electronically to DKB and your application is examined. The next step is the order confirmation, which the bank sends to you via email, and here it is. The bank instructs you to verify your identity within the next 14 days by using your ID document. For this process you have the choice between two procedures, which are both free of charge for you. The DKB recommends the online legitimization with video ident. What you can also see in the email is the link to that video ident procedure and your personal reference number. If you don't want to use Video Ident, you can alternatively use the service of the Deutsche Post and show your ID card or passport at the German Post Office. For that, you use the Post Ident form. Susanne, hat sich entschieden, die Susanne has decided on Video Ident, and how that works we'll show you in another video clip, the next part of our series. The link for that you can find in the description of this video. There you can also find the link for opening your DKB account, in case you now want to submit your own application.